Hi guys, today we're going to talk about True North, Grid North and Magnetic North. We're going to understand what the difference between these northern references is and how you can plot between a magnetic or a compass bearing and a true grid map bearing and also how you can go between those map bearings and a compass bearing. If we talk about true north we need to talk about the earth. You can see in our diagram here that we have a north pole at 90 degrees and a south pole at 90 degrees. Between those two poles or through those two poles is the line of axis of rotation of the earth. Now the north pole 90 degrees north is true north and on any map that's using latitudes and longitudes like these about 30 degrees south, 60 degrees south, 40 degrees south any maps or charts that are using latitudes and longitudes will be referenced to true north. If we're using a grid map which is using eastings and northings we'll be referencing to grid north now the reason we do that is because of the way the grid system is set up. So here's a, um, a partial map of the, uh, of the grid system and you can see that uh, our eastings here which are on north and south here's some eastings, there's another one there, there's another one in the middle so all the way across here are all uh, eastings that run north and south. Now these eastings point to grid north so they point to the northern reference of this grid map system. Now that northern reference is not exactly at the North Pole and that's just because of the way they've set up the grid system. So a grid map does not point to the North Pole. So it does not point to true north. If we go back to our North Point diagram you can see that there is a difference between true north and grid north. That difference is referenced here saying that it is 8 minutes to the east. You can see that true north is to the west of grid north or that grid north is to the east of true north because west is over here and east is over there. So you can say that grid north is 8 minutes east of true north. When we're talking about magnetic north, we're talking about something entirely different. This is a chart of magnetic declination, also known as magnetic variation. What it's showing you is at any point on the Earth, the difference between true north and magnetic north. The vertical lines shown here all these vertical lines are all pointing to true north so they demonstrate where true north is. The curved lines tell you how far off true north your compass points. So here in Brisbane it's about 11 degrees east and so that means that the compass points about 11 degrees to the east of true north when it's showing north. So I'll explain that again. So when your compass is showing north, it's actually about 11 degrees to the east of true north. Over here, where your compass points north, it's actually 10 degrees to the west of true north. Now you'll see on this map here that the south magnetic pole is this area here where all of these lines converge and that's a position pretty much south of Australia um, at about 65 degrees south, 65, 66, something like that degrees south. So it's not at the south pole. So on the other side of the earth as it's under Australia not under the uh, America, North and South America the south magnetic pole is about there. The north magnetic pole is about here. So it's not sitting at 90 degrees north. It's off. And so the difference between true north 
and magnetic north is shown on the north point diagram as this angle here. So magnetic north in this case is to the east of true north and the difference between them about 10.7 degrees. More commonly though we talk about the difference between grid north and magnetic north. That is the difference between north on your map system and north on your compass. That's shown on the north point diagram by this difference here. By that angle there. Now we can see that on the north point diagram that angle is 10.7 degrees east. Again we know it's east because this side is east and this side is west. So it is 10.7 degrees east of grid north. Now that difference between grid north and magnetic north is known as the grid magnetic angle. That we have grid north and that we have magnetic north and the difference between the two is the grid magnetic angle. So I just want to be really clear about the difference between grid north and magnetic north and how it actually applies to you. So the north point diagram is a really good way of understanding it and what it's saying is that when your compass points to north it's pointing out in this direction relative to the grid. So what that means is that the compass is pointing to a position 10.7 degrees to the east of grid north. Now you'll see on the north point diagram that magnetic north is over here so that if your compass is pointing in this direction and showing north that you're actually on your map a position of 10.7 degrees east of north on your map. Now if we do that as a calculation and we'll do some more calculations in a bit with a uh, mnemonic but what you can say is that this position which is magnetic north is actually a position that's 10.7 degrees east of grid north. I'll say that again so where your magnet points to magnetic north it's actually pointing a position 10.7 degrees east of grid north. So when you apply it to a map you need to add in that variation or that, uh, that grid magnetic angle of 10.7 degrees. So I'll say it again if you are heading due north on your compass and you want to apply that to a map you need to add this grid magnetic angle of 10.7 degrees so that you can draw it correctly on the map. So if we look at our north point diagram, we look at the information below, we'll see that uh, true north, grid north and magnetic north are shown diagrammatically. Now what that means is that this north point diagram is not drawn to scale. So you can't take a, project, a protractor and measure these angles and get a precise you know 10.7 degrees or 8 minutes you can't do that so the the north point diagram is diagrammatic and it's information only the correct measure is to take a protractor and measure 10.7 degrees on your chart what it also says is that magnetic north is correct for the year 2000 and it moves easterly by point zero three five degrees in about five years. Now if it's uh, 0 0.035 degrees in about five years um, that means it's about 0 0.007 degrees per year. Now if we're measuring um, and it's 2014, the year 2014 and uh, our original uh, year was uh, the year 2000 so we need to multiply this by 14 to get the current amount of uh, variation or change in variation 
um, since this map was produced. So 0 0.007 times 14 is roughly 0 0.1 degrees. So what that means we need to do is we need to add 0 0.1 degrees to the grid magnetic angle and so that gives us 10.8 degrees east. So now we're going to talk about how to convert from magnetic to grid and grid to magnetic. The easiest way to remember this is with the mnemonic MGA. That stands for magnetic to grid add. Now what that means is that when you are going from your compass magnetic to your map grid you need to add easterly variation. So this is for when variation is east and when you are going from your compass to your map. So let's look at an example. Let's say you have a compass and your compass is pointing to let's do it out here to 0, 060 0 degrees magnetic so 0, 060 0 magnetic to go from this magnetic heading of 0, 060 0 to a grid heading that you can draw on your map, we need to add our easterly variation. Now our easterly variation is 10.8 degrees east. So to go to our grid heading, we need to add our 0, 060 0 degrees magnetic plus our variation of 10.8 degrees east and that gives us a value of 070.8 degrees grid. We can round that up to 071 degrees grid. Now the G for grid just means that you're applying this to your map to the grid as opposed to M magnetic which we're applying to the compass. If we do another example, just get rid of get rid of this. Let's do another example of 245 degrees magnetic. So if we want to convert that to a grid heading we need to go 245 degrees magnetic plus a 10.8 degrees of easterly variation gives us a value of 255.8 degrees grid. So if we draw that on our grid map, we draw a heading of 256 degrees grid to round it up to the nearest degree, um, and we would draw that on our grid map. If we go in the opposite direction, so grid to magnetic, with easterly variation, we need to subtract. So we do the opposite to what we're doing if we're going from magnetic to grid. So I'll just say that again, if we're going from grid, from our map, to our compass, then we need to subtract the variation. So if we have our grid map here, and we want to uh, convert a grid heading of 145 degrees grid to magnetic then we subtract our easterly variation. So let's do that. So this is 145 degrees grid. So what we do is we take 145 degrees grid we subtract our 10.8 degrees of easterly variation and that gives us a compass 
heading of 134.2 degrees magnetic. So that's the heading, or we could say, or 134 degrees magnetic, rounding down to the nearest degree. So that is the heading, uh, 134 degrees is the heading that we would put into our compass and is the heading we would follow to achieve 145 degrees grid or 145 degrees on the map. If we by some freak of nature over in Western Australia and we have a westerly variation we need to do the opposite of this MGA. So in westerly variation it's magnetic to grid subtract Let's just move that open a little bit. Magnetic to grid subtract and it's grid to magnetic add. Now we won't talk about that in this video but just understand that under normal easterly variation it's magnetic to grid add and from there you can work out that it's grid to magnetic you subtract and then in westerly variation you do the opposite. So it's magnetic to grid you subtract in westerly variation and grid to magnetic you add. Okay, so we'll summarize now. The, um, what we discussed today is the difference between true north, which is the north and south pole, 90 degrees north, 90 degrees south. Grid north, which is north relative to the grid system that you're using and magnetic north, which is north where your compass points. And that magnetic north can vary, it can move around So over the years, so you need to calculate it for the year that you are in relative to the year that it appears on the map. So we said true north was at the north pole at 90 degrees north. We said grid north was at the north of the grid system that you're using and we said magnetic north is at the magnetic north pole and that that's very different to true north and grid north. We said that if you wanted to convert a bearing on your compass, a magnetic bearing on your compass to a grid bearing that you draw on your map you need to add using the mnemonic MGA, magnetic to grid add. So in eastern variation, which you'll encounter in Queensland, if you're going from your compass to your map, you add variation. If you're going from your map to your compass, you need to subtract. So if you're taking a bearing you've drawn on your map and put it on your compass, so that you can follow it, you need to subtract the easterly variation. So I hope that helps, I hope that was of interest and uh, enjoy your navigation.